G'day guys. Um, this is a quick little video on um, a, a new reprint study that's come out of uh, um, Denmark. So let's just start sharing the screen. Okay, so the study is in reprint, uh, so it hasn't been peer reviewed yet. Um, what these Danish researchers right here did they basically drilled through the the danish um, nationwide database on uh, java the hut efficacy so they basically looked at uh, the two main types which is basically the modern one and the fizzy and the fizzy one so there's the codes those are the codes and those are the, co those are the codes that they use for these Jabba the Hutt preparations. So they looked at those in regards to the new variant. So the O variant, we'll call it O and the D variant, as we know, to be very cryptic on this channel. So, so basically they've, they looked at those and the crux of it without actually going through the whole study and making a long video, is that what they found was that after 30 days, the, um, the, the M and the F, uh, sorry, the M and the F, yeah, the F um, Jabba the Hutt preparations no longer had any statistically significant positive effect against the new variant. Okay, I'll be quite clear. After 30 days, they saw no, um, you know, sort of positive efficacy anymore. So it just basically drops off. Then what they noticed was after 90 days, these effects were on the negative side. So people that had a closing, close encounter with Jabba the Hutt were more susceptible to the new variant in terms of infection. So, and these people are basically telling us that uh, having a close encounter with Jabba the Hutt is gonna be very protective. Um, and so they, they usually say, well, you know, you can still get it, you can still transmit it, whether you've had a close encounter with Jabba the Hutt or not, but they tell you that you will be super protected and those who have not had a close encounter with Jabba the Hutt will won't be as protected. They will be more susceptible. Apparently that's not the case when it comes to the new variant. Not at all. And that's what they found here. I mean, in the re we won't, I'll go down here. It's a couple of things that I that did annoy me about this study. So, you know, it's typical garbage. You know, they contradict their own data. They're looking at the data and then making, and they actually said that uh, this was the result of um, O um, variant spreading rapidly through um, single super spreading, um, an event that uh, m many of those effects amongst young, Jabba the Hutted individuals. So this is the bullshit we get constantly. If you haven't had a close encounter with Jabba the Hutt, you will be the super spreader. Apparently not. It's actually these people that, that have had a close encounter with Jabba the Hutt that were the super spreaders. It's nonsense. And since basically after 90 days, the you actually get negative effects. You actually are more susceptible at getting infected, more susceptible in transmitting as well. Why are we still continuing with all these sort of crazy mandates and crazy pressures to go and go and have a close encounter with Jabba the Hutt um, or you'll lose your livelihood, your job, you're a bad person, you're an evil person, you're killing granny and all this sort of stuff. We're still getting all this bullshit. When, when we look at really, we're starting now as the information unfolds and comes out that uh, really, you know, 
the narrative is just falling apart. But unfortunately, they still want to continue it. Look at this, what they say. The study contributes to emerging evidence that those two things, primary, um, primary Jabba the Hutt um, protection against this new variant, decrease quickly over time. And they say that if you boost Jabba the Hutt, it's offering a significant increase in protection. What a load of garbage. Their own data says after 90 days, you actually get a negative effect. All they're doing is just compounding the problem. Here, this statement right at the end is not based on evidence. This is an opinion, an opinion piece at the end. They should be, it's outrageous that they make this when their own data that they data mined and the conclusions that they came up with actually shows a completely different picture. And they say in light of their exponential rise in the new variant, these findings highlight the need for massive um, rollouts of Jabba the Hutt um, and booster boosters of Jabba the Hutt. That is what they're telling us. You know, it's an e unending. I mean, even after 30 days, I mean, what? They're going to bring it down to every 10 days? 20 days? I mean, take your pick. The place has gone mad. They just have to accept that this is a respiratory infection, no different than the flu or the common cold and all that, especially now it's more like the common cold because it only hits the bronchial tissue, which is what the common cold does. The previous variants hit the lungs, which was more pneumonic, you know, could produce a pneumonia in people who had comorbidities, um, weak immune systems and all that. Rather than actually promoting vitamin D, rather than promoting, you know, more meat consumption, or at least at a minimum taurine supplementation for the population, which would basically boost their immune system, their T lymphocytes as protection. I'll stick that one down there, um, that one just for people who may have not seen it. There are other options for a more saner um, uh, you know, society, not this sort of, sort of crazy options. No, let's just go mass crazy. That's what they're telling us. This is a problem. Um, you know, their own, they're contradicting their own data. The solution isn't basically, the solution is to allow this herd immunity to take place and to stop playing these stupid little games because Basically, you know, they don't work. All they do is they create um, conditions for all sorts of magnifications. And the sort of people that are, pro that are basically, we're not being told, but I suspect those who've had a close encounter with Jabba the Hutt and have got comorbidities and a whole lot of things are probably the people who are dying at the moment, who are getting this magnified effect, you know? So, but you're not going to be told that because basically they want to keep you in the dark um, and controlled. It's, it's bullshit what, it, what is happening in our world. Our freedoms are being stripped away, eroded, and pretty much even good data, because that's good data that these people, their conclusions, their, their final conclusions are just ridiculous. You know, they should be ashamed of themselves, but their and but their actual data showing that quite, quite clearly after 30 days really goes downhill and 90 days it really goes haywire. And then they justify because you've already had a close encounter with Jabba the Hutt. We will make sure we basically keep you 30 every 30 days, um, you know, constantly um, uh, going into centers and being dealt with. Um, you know, when does this madness um, ever end? You know, if we don't stand up and say, no, we've had enough of this bullshit, it's never going to end. That's what it's looking like. It's the world's gone crazy, truly gone crazy. I will not criticize anyone for basically um, having a close encounter with Jabber um, to hold their job or whatever. But one thing I'll tell you, this world has gone damn crazy. We need to get the message out. We need to basically start posting this information out um, 
and telling people. I'll put in the description a little thing that you can guys can actually then post on your for social media, your, which um, you know to post this information to let it know that you know enough is enough. This has to go. This is crazy. Um, so I'll add a little thing so you may not. Um, you know, sometimes when you put videos, they get deleted. But if you, you know, if you want to share it, great. Thank you. Um, but at the end of the day, um, we need to get the message out. Um, I've been posting all day this morning this information um, on a number of uh, media sites and a whole lot of things. Uh, on half of them, they've already been all removed. So it doesn't surprise me. But the more we get out there, I'm just hoping that some of the media people pick up on it and actually go, hold on, you know and maybe look into it a bit um you know i i i think I, I do fear that a lot of them are going to go to the end the end stuff and ignore all the data and just basically say the bullshit keep on saying the bullshit but the reality is i'm hoping that some people with half a brain um will basically look at the data and actually say well these conclusions are wrong and really this sort of stuff has to stop it's just crazy it's gone on for long enough and we need to stop basically. Now we're actually introducing these things. You know, your kitty needs to get it. No, they don't. You know, from a young age until their whole immune system isn't even fully developed by the age of in between five and 11. You know, even the ACE2 receptor isn't fully. You know, there's the world's really just wrong on that, on these fronts where we've got a whole lot of politicians, bureaucrats, and many others just pushing this and nobody's engaging their mind whatsoever. You know, not one bit. Um, the, people just need to say no, start saying no and say, start saying this is crazy. We've had enough. Um, yeah. In Australia, people should basically say, well, you know, Privacy Act, I don't need to tell you. Um, I'm protected by the Privacy Act in terms of my medical status and stuff like that. And it's a criminal offence to basically try to cajole me, um, threaten me, bully me for that information. You know, tell them to bugger off. It's none of their business. Um, yeah, so basically, that's the crux of it. Um, hope you got some, something out of it. But, uh, you know, at least now you've got some data um, uh, that you can actually use against some of these crackpots and some data you could basically show to your family and say, you know, hold on, this, this I think you've got the wrong message, you're getting the wrong message, and this is why. There's a short supplemental that I just need to add to the other video. Um, let me just share screen. So this is, just go to my playlist. and go across here until you find this one here, COVID-19. And that will basically, there's the, all the videos are gonna be there. There's a whole lot going way back. And so for people that need information, do go there. The other thing is, if you've already had a close encounter with Jabba the Hutt out of, a requirement to hold on to employment um, or because you were pressured by your family or um, whatever the reasons I'm not, I'm not, I, I don't, I don't criticize people for, for their actions. You know, people are forced under duress to do certain things that they are against. I don't basically blame them. I blame the system and the people that are doing the forcing. Um, those that's where I direct my criticism and my anger but uh, go to my playlist and get the information there I will basically um, attach that so to to the description so people can go through if you want to go through historical stuff in regards to that you'll go right back to the first one when I talk about vitamin D and onwards from there about a whole lot of other things and some strategies and stuff like that. So people may be wanting to basically um, just shore up themselves or shore up a loved one, um, you know, especially somebody who's older, who's not having a species, who's not on a species appropriate diet, 
who may be more susceptible. So some of the additional information that's in those videos about gargling and a whole lot of other things to reduce viral loads and stuff like that may be useful to people. Um, there are links as well. So if you go under the earlier videos, the, the ones that there are a whole lot of links um, that I've actually pinned. So you go to the pinned comments and you'll find a whole lot of information there as well in regards to some stuff you can do. So um, I hope that's helpful um, for yourself and for your families um, and, uh, you know, keep up the anger, a bit, uh, you know, because these um, ass hats aren't going to basically stop, unfortunately. Anyway.